I don't know if it was just me, guys, but that satanic display at the RNC, the Republican National Convention, was honestly absolutely disgusting. And honestly, that's one of the biggest mistakes that they could have done. I mean, like, just think about what literally just happened with Donald J. Trump. He literally just got shot in the ear, almost assassinated. And that honestly looks so great for him, guys, because a lot of people started to come to vote for Donald J. Trump in 2024. And to make it even better, a lot of people actually came to Christ because they said, wow, by miracle, by God is the reason why Donald J. Trump is still here today. And so it's like, wow, guys, like that was just such an amazing, beautiful feat. But then literally just a few days later, not even a whole week later, we have this very satanic display at the Republican National Convention of them literally giving someone the platform to be able to sing like some sort of Hindu prayer. Guys, this was honestly like the most dumb mistake that they could have done. And they did it at the wrong time because now a lot of people are taking back their votes. A lot of people aren't going to want to vote for Donald J. Trump unless he repents for whatever they did. Thank you, everyone. These last 48 hours have been some of the most intense, yet most prayerful of our lives. The heinous attack on President Trump and his supporters made all of us pause and seek answers and comfort. I come from a family of Sikh immigrants. I am honored to share with you, my fellow Republicans and guests tonight, a prayer from my faith tradition practiced by over 25 million worldwide. We recite the Ardas prayer before any new endeavor, giving thanks. Thank you so much for getting this far in the video. I just want to make a quick little announcement. If you want to continue financially supporting me, please go ahead and go on our website. You can find on any of my videos in the link below by simply clicking that link that says ban plus exclusive content. And then after you do that, you can go ahead and click on early videos. And then from there, you can go ahead and choose your plan for $14.99 or $9.99. So it's only five or 10 bucks, guys, and you'll be able to support the cause. It's very simple. It helps me to continue doing this full time financially. So please go ahead and go on there and financially support my page and my work. And also, you'll be able to get early content without any ads. So that's very beneficial for those of you guys that want that. And you'll also get exclusive content that I can't post on social media. So thank you guys so much for your financial support. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. To God and asking for his protection and help to up hold the values of humility, truth, courage, service, and justice for all. To show respect, we cover our heads when we pray. Tu thakar tum peyar daas jiyo pind sab teri raas Bro, I don't know what language she's speaking or who she's praying to, guys, but that's not God Almighty. That's not Jesus Christ. I mean, just the amount of disrespect, guys, because I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, the RNC is not a Christian uh, foundation or organization. So it doesn't matter because, you know, yeah, although there are Christians a part of it, we're welcoming everyone. No, guys, that's satanic, honestly. Um and you know what? I feel like it's very, very tough, but I'm just trying to use discernment and wisdom in our current situation. While I do realize that obviously no side is perfect. And like I've said multiple times before on my channel, I believe that both sides, both wings are of the same bird. So when you look at the Republican and the Democrat Party, they're both very satanic in their own ways. Now, I do believe we do, if we have wisdom, we can see that there is a, at least somewhat of a better chance if we were to vote more Republican 2024 versus Democrat. But obviously, I believe that both sides have a lot of influence from Satan. Um, it's a very, very tough thing, but it's, this is just the reality of the world that we live in, guys. But I've also heard certain individuals, they have another take on this, and in no way am I claiming to be an expert on this, but someone also said that you have to win your battles first before you can win the war. And so what this means is that even if we have to be a part 
of uh, be with them, the RNC or the Republican Party, until we can get Trump into office, then we can go ahead and win the whole war and bring Christ back to America. Now, there's that view. But then there's the other view of other Christians saying, well, if we don't stand up now and we don't say something now about it, then they're just going to keep walking around us. They're going to keep walking all over us and think they can get away with it because Christians are too cowardly to say anything. And both individuals make pretty interesting points. That's what I will say. It's very tough because like I myself personally, I'm not in a political position. I'm not Donald J. Trump. I'm not some sort of Congress person. I'm not some sort of politician. So I personally can't make choices that are going to affect Americans' lives. If I could, I would, guys. I'd be like, I'd be helping everyone come to Jesus Christ and to have freedom in Christ and just to have a country that follows Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, I'm not in that position. So what I could do is I could, as an American citizen, choose to practice the privileges that I am given, such as voting, such as voicing out my opinion on social media and things of that nature, so that we can actually make a difference in our country towards the mission of seeking Jesus Christ. Now, one thing I do have to say is that this is very satanic and there is absolutely no room for us to justify this, guys. To have a Hindu woman singing at the RNC, guys, is a shame. Or whatever religion she was, Barawa, God, whatever it was, guys, it's a shame. Whether it's Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, I mean, anything else that's not Jesus Christ is not of God, you know, and that's the reality. Um, but again, I do realize that the RNC is not Christianity necessarily, and it's not a Christian organization. It's a political one. But we do have to realize as well is that the most of the RNC is like made up by Christians. It's made up by evangelical Christians for the most part. And then we have some Catholics. So for them to be able to, you know, cater to like, I think like Indians make up like 7% of Americans. And then like of that 7%, only like 0.07 or 1% of people, 0.01% actually follow the religion that she was praying to it just doesn't make any sense why you would like lose most of your votes or a lot of your votes just for you know to for you to be able to appease to a small minority it doesn't make any sense um so even from a political standpoint this in itself doesn't make sense that they would allow her to pray like that knowing that a lot of evangelicals and catholics would get upset at this it just, it doesn't make any sense. And I have personally seen a lot of people, like I've seen tens and thousands and hundreds of votes, like literally people are upset. Like if you go on, um, if you go on Twitter and stuff, a lot of people are complaining like, hey, I don't want to see this stuff, guys. And they're saying, I'm no longer voting for Donald J. Trump unless he repents. And I can see that. I mean, I honestly can't blame you guys at the same time. But at the same time, I get the other people's perspective, right? We kind of don't, we, it, it, it's very tough because it is politics and I'm not a politician. But one thing I do have to say is if they, if you're not for Jesus Christ, then who are, who is your God? Who are you serving? Because if Jesus isn't your God, then your God is of this world. And if your God is of this world, then it's Satan. This is why whenever we look at the Republican and Democratic Party, we see that their God is not Jesus Christ. We see this very often. For example, the Democratic Party, I don't have to go into much detail, but they support things like homosexual marriage, transgenderism, you know, abortion, just very three plain things that I don't have to go into much detail about, automatically satanic. And there's so many other things that they support that are satanic, such as Christian persecution and so forth. But when it comes to the Republican Party, it seems as if there has been a shift to become a little more satanic. And this is why I myself, I'm personally not a Republican at all. Um, however, I do think that even through the midst of everything, Trump would still potentially be a better candidate than Joe Biden. I think that he is definitely a lot better of an option because we don't really have much options, guys. And by not voting for anyone, that's not, I don't think, the wisest decision either. Um, so whenever we look at the situation, it is really tough because the Republic, uh, the Republican Party has become a little more liberal, it's looking like. 
So this is something I want you guys to be aware about. But we as Christians, we should speak up about this stuff, because if not, they're going to walk all over us. So we can't just let them walk all over us and think, oh, it's OK. We can disrespect Christians and, you know, have all these other false gods curse our nation, because that's literally what they're doing, guys. And then to make it worse, they literally had like a porn star literally talk, you know, and it's, it's just so crazy, guys. The fact that they had a porn star talk at the RNC is just so disgusting, guys. It's just honestly so disgusting. And that's how they kicked off their first day out of all four of their days at the RNC convention. I don't see how we can be Christians and support this, guys. I, I, I just don't see it, guys. It's not biblical. It's not Christ-like for us to support this. It's very satanic. And it, they, they really need to wake up, guys. This was honestly their biggest mistakes that you know republicans have made in a long time the satanic display should not go without um you know consequences guys because they need to know that they cannot just get away with this guys it's very 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 disgusting and vile and honestly we need more christ-like leaders in our nation we need people who are going to stand firm in the faith and protect the faith because it starts off with one little thing and then it becomes a bigger issue so I think this is honestly really satanic and a lot more people should be speaking against this stuff, guys. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Please smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with someone you believe it could be edifying for. And I hope you enjoy. God bless you guys.